Oh yeah, you know what that sound is? Santa is on his way. It's December. I can't believe we're already at the end of 2024. This happened pretty quickly in a lot of ways. Here we are. I hope you all have a great final month of the year. Let's finish it off strong. I am here in this video to talk to you about some of my favorite gear that I have found and what I've been using in 2024. Maybe you're going to get inspired and get some of this stuff and put it in your stocking like, like this. This will fit in a stocking, right? Maybe not. I don't make any money off the sales of any of this. These are not affiliate links. I just like promoting brands that I truly believe in and gear that I use. So if I'm talking about it, you know that I love this gear and I use it in my everyday life. All right, so should we get started? First up, I only have a photo of this because these are so new, they don't exist yet in real life, but they will soon. This is our brand new 50 miles per burrito t-shirt that I'm making in conjunction with Priority Bikes. Isn't that awesome? We're very excited about it. On the back of this shirt, it will say, get out there. As with all of my merch, we, Priority Bikes and me, we donate the profits to a nonprofit of our choice. And this time we are donating all the profits from this shirt to the KRD Foundation. And their mission is to get kids on bikes. And if you know Dana, my good friend Dana, that is her foundation. So we're very proud to be working with them. Also with all of my merch, this is made in the USA, 100% organic cotton, non-toxic dyes and ink. And it just goes with our ethos. We wanna create products that are as environmentally friendly as possible. There is a higher price tag because of that, because it is made in the USA, but we feel like it's worth it because the fashion industry is one of the biggest polluters in the world when it's all being shipped over from China. So you can be happy knowing that you're getting a shirt made right here in the USA by people who are making a living wage. This shirt is made by Jetty Inc., a great company out of New Jersey, and they've actually made all of our merch throughout the years. And speaking of Jetty, they also make apparel, and they recently sent me a couple things that I'm very excited about. This is their Sherpa jacket. I haven't looked this cool in a long time. Thank you, Jetty. It's not only nice looking, but on the inside, check this out. Can you see how soft this is? It's like a teddy bear, but I promise you, no teddy bears were harmed in the making of this jacket. Oh, while I'm standing up, they also have these really awesome pants. I've been wearing these all the time. It is winter, it is cold. What is special about these pants? They are fleece lined. So if you live in a cold climate, I highly recommend something like this. You can see the, the fleece right here. It's nice and soft, keeps you warm as a bike commuter. Jetty is a great company. They're very environmentally minded. They really focus on using environmentally friendly products. They do all sorts of great fundraisers for the coastal communities out there in New Jersey and beyond. And we're just very proud to be working with them. They make all sorts of other clothing too. Very, very cool stuff. Go check them out. I will link it all below. And while I'm mentioning the link, I'm gonna have a link of all the gear I always use. So you can see everything that I use, not even just the stuff that I'm highlighting in this video. Whew, that was a mouthful. Okay, moving on. These are called Burt Shoes. And the owner of the company reached out to me a few months ago. She is from Colombia, and these are made in Colombia. And these shoes really are for anybody who hikes or backpacks or just want a very comfortable shoe and it just folds up into nothing. It doesn't weigh much. It's made out of recycled rubber. And so these shoes are going to be my camp shoes from now on when I go on bikepacking trips. Very, very easy to pack, very light, and also very comfortable. They're literally like a slipper. They go right on like this. They also are doing good things for the world. They are doing lots of projects in the country of Colombia around uh, neutering animals. And so they take care of a lot of the street animals down there in Colombia. 
How about some electrolytes and protein? <laughs> you know, I don't talk a lot about my nutrition besides bean burritos, which are obviously amazing. <laughs> but I've really been enjoying the products from Tailwind. And Tailwind is from Durango, Colorado, one of the most beautiful little towns in our beautiful little state or medium-sized state. It's at the beginning or the end of the Colorado Trail. Anyway, this is a great brand. I've been loving this recovery mix with carbs and protein. I throw it in my blender with some bananas and peanut butter and make really yummy shakes. The electrolyte mix is great on those hot summer days. And obviously you're not gonna go bike packing with a big bag like this. So they also make little packets obviously that you can travel with that are more friendly for people on the move. If you don't believe me, Courtney DeWalter, one of the best ultra distance runners in the world on planet Earth, loves this stuff. So I would trust her over me any day. And she's been using this stuff for a long time. If you go to their website now, they have some holiday bundle deals where you can get a little mix match of everything and try to test some of this stuff out. And you'll get one of these cool mugs. Yeah. How about some aero bars? Maybe I'll put them on the Doozer Cruiser right here. Anyway, these aero bars are made by Redshift. I used these on the Tour Divide. I had never used aero bars before, and I'm a fan now. I probably won't use these on my everyday bikepacking trips, but for ultra endurance racy type stuff, which I don't do a ton, this, this is what you want. What's cool about these is that they have these quick release levers here. So if you have the mounts on your handlebars, you can just flip these open and take the whole apparatus off, which is very cool. Redshift makes a lot of interesting stuff. I've been very impressed with their innovation. They're really changing up the cycling world. They make some flex stems, you know, uh, suspension stems and all sorts of other stuff. I'm gonna show you here right now, these awesome pedals that they make. So these are the Redshift Arc Light pedals, and they look just like regular pedals, right? But if you hit these buttons right here, boom, all of a sudden you have light. And check out this part. This is the coolest thing. Whoop. They change colors when they spin around. How cool is that? You know what I'm saying? I've been using these pedals on my cruiser, my commuter bikes and obviously the Doozer Cruiser, which you can also buy right now if you want. This is on the Priority website. This is a one-speed, super cool cruiser with the colors of the Colorado flag. And of course, we have that get out there badge and a super comfy seat. Anyway, back to Redshift. That's what we're talking about here. Go check out their website. They make a lot of fun stuff. You know that blue shirt that I wear on all of my bikepacking adventures, the merino wool shirt made by Showers Pass? It's a great shirt, but I'm finally moving on because this is my new favorite riding shirt. This is the Turn Ultralight Merino Wool Shirt made by Outdoor Vitals. This thing weighs nothing. And what are the benefits of merino wool? fast drying, and the best thing, I think, is odor protection. Somehow, they just never get stinky, and I wear these over and over and over again, and it just doesn't stink like a lot of that polyester plastic-based spandexy stuff. I'm also wearing the long sleeve version under this shirt right here. I wear a size medium. Along with that shirt, I wanna highlight some more things that Outdoor Vitals makes. Outdoor Vitals is a company, company out of Utah and they're direct to consumer. So they don't, you're not gonna find their stuff in stores. And because of that, you save quite a bit of money and all their stuff is really high quality, but it's not gonna come at the same price tag as like Patagonia or North Face or those other brands. This is another one of my favorite items. This is called the Nebo Windbreaker. Just a very simple light Jacket, again, it weighs almost nothing. Packs down to something the size of your fist. I had this on the Tour Divide for those chilly mornings and very, very happy with it. Along with that, this is one of their hoodies. This is called the Ventus Hoodie and it's uh, nice and warm, but also again, packs down tiny, tiny. And another one of their products that I really like, I highlighted this last year, is the Tusher rain jacket. I pretty much lived in this thing 
during the tour divide. It kept me nice and warm and dry. Again, it's very, very light and packs down to the size of half of a burrito. Let's call it that. They make all sorts of stuff. This is just a tiny fraction of what they have. They make tents and sleeping bags and all sorts of other gear and pants and clothes and puffy jackets. Go check them out. I will link it down below, obviously. Oh, I found some of the Tailwind packets under all my gear over there, just to show you, you know, how small it is. You just put it in your pocket and go. Oh, how could I forget my Olay socks? I'm obviously wearing them right here, but I also want to show you up close. Ooh, yeah, Olay, 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 Olay. These are also made in the USA. Merino wool, they don't stink. They feel really good. They keep your feet warm. I've been using them on all my bikepacking adventures for more than a year now. They're made by a great company here in Colorado called Point Six. All of the proceeds from these go to Bike Packing Roots, a great nonprofit that are doing all sorts of wonderful work in the world of bike packing and land management type stuff. How about a new dirty frame bag? Yours won't be dirty if you buy it new. Mine is dirty because I use it. This is a company that I've talked a lot about for years. Green Guru, they are my good friends here in Boulder. They make all of their products out of upcycled materials. That means they are rescuing materials that would otherwise be going to the landfills and creating wonderful products out of them. Does that mean that these products are of lesser quality? Absolutely not. A lot of times, they're getting materials from some of the big companies with leftover, you know, sail cloth or tent material or whatever, and they're putting it to good use. And this bag right here, the frame bag, is made specifically to fit the Priority ADX, but it will fit on a lot of different size frames as well. This comes small, medium, large, and you know, you can take, check it out on the website and see if your bike might fit. This little bag right here is called the Doozer Bag. This, seat, this bag I have right under my seat. This is where I keep all of my tools. They also have it in different colors like this. I have been using Green Guru gear for 15 years. They really make a lot of great commuter gear as well. My panniers on my commuter bike are made by Green Guru and I really like them. Check them out, link below. Use the code Doozer, get 20% off. Everybody's happy. These things here don't look very exciting, but they are actually, maybe not exciting, but very useful. I've highlighted this brand before. They're called M-O-D-L. I think they pronounce it modal, model, I don't know. But I have these straps on the racks of my bike at all times. Whether I'm on a bike packing trip or I'm grocery shopping, these are always at the ready. I have strapped down countless bananas with these straps. They're super tough. They come in different sizes. I've also used them to hold water bottles onto like my forks. And I'm very impressed with this small brand. You can use these for just about anything, not just bike related stuff. So go check these out if you're in need of some new bungee cord type thingies and use code DOOZER10 for 10% off. Ooh. And I guess I should talk about my book. It's been out for a couple years now. Many of you have it, but if you're new to my channel, check out my book. I wrote a book. It's called The Long Way Home. It's about my very first bikepacking adventure from Honduras to Boulder and how transformative of an experience that was and how it led to this lifestyle. I printed it here in Boulder, Colorado in the most environmentally way possible. And the ink isn't ink, it's algae. Algae-based inks, non-toxic, very, very cool. Um, go check out this book. You know, I just posted about this on my Instagram and somebody left me a pretty funny comment and I'm gonna share it with you. He says, my mother-in-law stayed at my house a few years back. When we all woke up, I asked her how she slept and she said, I barely slept. I said, why? She said she found this book on your shelf and couldn't put it down. She read the whole thing that night. So, and this is a person who didn't know what, who I was or wasn't even into bikes and just picked up this book randomly and read the whole thing in a night. So that's a pretty good review. <laughs> 
Check out this harmonica. This is actually not at all part of the video. It just happened to be sitting on my desk and I thought I'll pick it up and play you a little ditty. I can't really play, but it's an easy thing to make noise with and you love, you know I love making noise. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it gave you some ideas of things that you might want to get for your family or friends and uh, yeah, have a great end of the year. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. You are all number one. I appreciate you, big time, definitely. And try to support local, you know? Try to support the small businesses in this country. They're having a hard time because of the Amazons and the other big box um, stores. You know, they can beat everybody because they have lower prices, but those lower prices usually come at a cost, an environmental cost or a social cost, and they're putting our small American businesses out of business. So I know sometimes it's more expensive to shop locally, but you're helping out your neighbors and your family and your community, and I think that's pretty cool. So, have a great day, and get off your couch and get out there.